Hello, and welcome to Bat Faster's channel. Today, what you've just seen me do is pour a Diet Wild Red Soda. I will be drinking this, and I will be eating what you see before you. Leftover stir-fry, which looks nasty because it's old and been saturated by soy sauce for a couple days. And I also have some old dinner rolls and some new food, some corn dogs, State Fair brand, and some pizza rolls, bagels. So, I have this entire array of condiments that I like to put on my food. Ranch, primarily for the pizza rolls. Poison sauce, that's good on like pretty much anything. You can't go wrong with mayonnaise, unless you're an asshole. Got hot sauce, I'm gonna need a new bottle pretty soon. This kind of mustard thing that I got in a, one of those sausage packs one year. It's pretty good, it's got like those little ground up things in it. And then just, you know, plain old Hunt's ketchup. So, I'm gonna take a sip of this. I got 20,000 steps today, so I need something to drink. I guess I'll eat this first. Uh, like I said, it's not that good. I mean, it tastes good. I made this a couple days ago. Uh, it's got this kind of beef that I found on sale at HEB. I don't really remember what kind it was. It's pretty good. And then there's carrots in here. I got this big old carrot from work. It was like a donkey dick, I swear, it was like three feet long. I used about half of it for the stir fry, and that's a little piece of it right there. Uh, I got some snow peas. You can see that. Uh, there's a little mushroom in there. Uh, bell pepper. Big old piece right there. And just your basic seasonings, garlic powder, pepper. I, put, I cooked it in soy sauce and a little hoisin sauce, so. A little minced garlic in there, too. I, I put some fish uh, imitation crab. That stuff's pretty good. I mean, if you want to have, like, a Chinese buffet-style thing. It's not bad. So I'll just eat all of this right here. Kind of reminds me of a. Uh... Oh, there's an onion in there too. Sliced onion. Anyway, kind of reminds me of uh, what I saw on the road this morning. I saw this dead skunk. Man, that motherfucker. I didn't see it very well because it was still dark out. I was driving. But he smelled like. Oof. You couldn't even... You'd be driving a mile away and you could still smell that motherfucker. He had his guts spilled out all over the place. I swear. Whoever ran him over must have punctured his stink sack or whatever they call him. I don't know. It, it smelled worse than shit. Like, you smell shit. And it's nothing. It's like flowers compared to this thing. But, anyway. It's still good, after a couple days. Well, this is a new channel. Calling it Fat and Bastard Eats. No, Bat Faster Eats. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I hope you all like it. Hopefully, it'll get a handful of views here and there. I don't want to be in the mukbang drama or whatever, but it seemed easy enough to uh, eat and film. Got my uh, wife on the other side filming. <laughs> and she's eating pizza. Rolls and 
corn dogs too. But uh, no stir fry. So you don't want to eat it. It's a little salty because I was smart enough not to put too much salt in because I was already putting soy sauce. But it's still a little salty. Probably from the meat or that fish or whatever. This is some of that fish right there. It looks pretty nasty. I wasn't even sure what that was at first. It tastes good though. You get one of those little four packs for a dollar at Walmart. It tastes a little like crab, I guess, but it's cheap. I'm not a big crab eater or seafood eater. Not all that much, but uh, I know some of these people on the on the this mukbang thing. They eat a lot of seafood. But, I don't really do that. I eat a lot of processed meat and whatever stuff I can find. Not bad though. I think maybe I'll dip a roll in here. Yeah. I know y'all creaming your jeans over that. Kind of looks like a cow's anus. These rolls, I swear, I got them before Christmas, and they're still good. There's no mold on them or anything, and we haven't even kept them, kept them in the refrigerator. They're just on the table. So, I'm finally getting rid of those. I'm gonna run out of soda. I usually drink a lot. Meals. I think I put a little pizza roll in here too. Yeah. Just like kind of stuck it in there. I, I make sandwiches out about everything. Pour this juice on the food. I think I'm going to. Oh yeah, that hits the spot. Oh, I like my food drenched in whatever you can find. So I'm gonna start out this hoisin sauce. You get this at the Korean market in Austin, Texas. $2.99 a jar. I mean, you don't have to get it there. You could probably get it at Walmart nowadays. But, anyway, I'm going to pour it on some pizza rolls and a little bit on the corn dog. It's not bad there. I made a little arm, it looks like. <laughs> oh. Get this hot sauce, my favorite kind of hot sauce, Valentina hot sauce. Pour that on there. Drench that shit. A little ranch, you gotta have your ranch. Oh my god. Pizza. Ooh. I don't know these bottles from Walmart, they don't have a little plastic section thing that you can just squeeze it out. It's just a big old hole. 
spills out everywhere. That's what she said. <laughs> this mustard, I'm not going to eat too much. I like mustard, but not that much. So I'll just put a little bit next to the corn dog. That ought to do it. It's a smear. Yeah. Mayonnaise. The piece de resistance. That'll just mainly be for the corn dog. I mean, I eat a lot of shit, but I don't put mayonnaise on pizza. And the last one, ketchup. That'll go on, I guess, just the corn dog. Well, I forgot to shake it up. <laughs> I guess I'll eat this roll. I think I will break off a piece of that. Oh. <laughs> well, that didn't work out. I'll put a little corn dog on that one. Yeah, corn dog sandwich. I think I'll dip the mayo in there. Put a little of this pizza on top. What about these pizza rolls? They're not bad. But, seems like they're just kind of dry. Like stale bread. This could have because we overcooked them. still soft, it's not even dry. Uncanny. I like my condiments. You like your what? Condiments. <laughs> eating this kind of food, you gotta use protection to make sure your food is good, so put on a lot of condiments. And I lick my fingers a lot when I eat. I mean, it's <laughs> I never have too much mayonnaise. You know, like nine of these pizza rolls, I've already eaten two of them. I don't know if I can eat all nine of them. I would have done, but I already have all this other stuff. But, what the hell? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I'm already gonna be sick. Sugar free, we're healthy. As you can tell. <laughs> Nothing like syrup mixed with mayonnaise, said no one ever. This one is covered in hot sauce. I'm probably gonna 
And the hot sauce isn't too spicy, but a lot of it is a little bit too spicy. I really dig these pizza rolls, I gotta say. Even with all that stuff on them. They're very dry. I won't say what brand they are. They can probably figure it out. If you know your pizza roll. Or I should say bagel bites, they're not pizza rolls. Yeah, bagel bites. Running dangerously close to running out of soda. Mm -hmm. It's like eating styrofoam. Corn dogs are good on the other hand. The State Fair brand, those are good. Bar S kind, those are kind of nasty. You, it's like they're hot dogs. You bite into them, it's nothing but grit and bones. <laughs> and entrails. Probably possible. I think I can eat one in one bite. I'm gonna eat two in one bite. I like these sodas. I like a big red knockoff. If you're in Texas, you know what that is. But you can get like four 12 packs of that. Sometimes they have it for like nine dollars total. That's a good deal. I did not once dip mustard on the corn dog. And look at all the shit I have left and only half a corn dog left. <laughs> I guess I'll just have to scrape off the plate and into my mouth. I don't know if you can see this plate. I'm digging around on it. It's got flowers on it. It's one of those old plates, old fashioned plates. I got these plates. Yeah. Box by the dumpster in the trailer park we live in. Most of my plates, honestly, most of my stuff either is very cheap or free. I'm a cheapskate. I don't mind. Some people might turn their nose up at that, but you know, fuck them. I don't care. Looks like I made a, uh, a sauce of my own on this plate. Should I eat it? Probably not. But I'm going to.
Almost done. I don't care for the sauce. It's too spicy. And it's got like a saucy, like a, a syrupy taste to it. Hot syrup is kind of gross. So I guess if it's too spicy, the only thing to do is to put more syrup. Look at all the syrup my wife had put on her plate. This is too much syrup. <laughs> this is another plate that came out of the trash. So anyway, I'll eat that. Well, if you're wondering why I put these sticks in my ears, so am I. I should have got a spoon. I made it a little better. Trying to create the next big sauce over there? I suppose. I could just let the plate. I like this one too. Now that that's out of the way, I have a dessert. I bet you weren't expecting that. I got this one for about a quarter, I guess. I kind of feel bad for eating it. I mean, it kind of looks like my brother-in-law. So. But I'm going to eat it anyway because Palmer makes good chocolate. I don't know. People say their chocolate's cheap or whatever. I don't give a shit. It's good. I think I ate his brain. But what it needs is hot sauce. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna do that. But what it really needs is mayonnaise. Chocolate's good by itself. One of the few things that I'll eat by itself. I'm almost out of soda. I'm almost out of chocolate. Good chocolate. Most of the food I get is cheap. Or I get it from work or whatever. <coughs> Sometimes we'll get an expensive item here and there. Like this sauce, it was three bucks. <laughs> That's expensive. It was good though. So what do you want to eat for your next mukbang? Mm hmm. I don't know. Something not involving pizza bites. Or <laughs> shit. No offense to the company that made them. 
might have been me. I might have worked with them. Maybe they're better in the microwave. We should make some crispy tacos. Yeah. I think the pizza roll, the bites, bagel bites, whatever, I think they're better in the oven. I mean, in the microwave. Because they're gooey and they're soft. I've eaten them before. I'm not like a big pizza bagel bite guy. Ooh, maybe next time you can make your, um, your pizza cake thing. That could be good. If you want to know what that is, you'll have to tune in next week. <clears throat> same bat time, same bat channel. Down to the last bite. <clears throat> Should I eat the ice like other people on the YouTube to do? Maybe. Chocolate coating is on the roof of my mouth. It's pretty good. Got about five or six ice cubes. I think I could eat them. Mmm. Agonizing. That's the second one. Shit, even this table I'm at came out of the dumpster. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm gonna trash. If I see trash, I'm gonna take it if it's good. I only got a couple more ice cubes. <sighs> Done. Well, thank you for watching. And my brain is shutting down. Huh? Whatever. I'll see you next time. Tune in next week. Bat Fastered out. <laughs>